today we're going to be changing the automatic transmission fluid and filter on my blue W123 here behind me. Now we'll leave the arguing of what type of fluid is best for another time. We don't need to get into that right now. What you need to know is how are you going to do this? So you're going to need a five millimeter hex socket along with a 13 ratchet, some other things to pull the pan off. Um, you're going to need a new filter. So I've got a Beck Arnley filter here um, as well as some fluid. So this is a full synthetic Dextron or Dexron 3 replacement. So these were spec'd to have Dex 3 and Dex 3 doesn't really exist anymore. Anyways, we've got our fluid, we've got our five millimeter hex, our 13 millimeter socket, funnel, new filter, drain pan. Let's get under the car and see what we need to do to do the fluid and filter in the pan as well as the torque converter because these have a torque converter drain. Let's check it out. So we get crawled under our car here. It's tight even with the car up on these ramps. But if you look at the transmission pan, this is the transmission pan. Up there is the engine oil pan. So back here, transmission pan, there's this drain plug. This is a five millimeter hex, and we will take that out and let it drain into our drain pan. Also, if you look up here, this little cover, notice how this has an opening because there's a drain plug. So what we're gonna do is look up in there and rotate our engine until the drain plug lines up with this hole. So, let me leave you down here on the camera, and uh, I guess maybe you can yell when uh, it uh, gets turned to the right place or something. All right, let's do that. So I've got my phone here so that I can see the GoPro down under there. And I'm going to prop this up somewhere where I can see it good. Maybe right there. There we go. And now we're going to turn our engine over, and I am using the power steering pump, which a lot of people say you shouldn't be able to do this, but if you go slow, you can. So, just have to kind of rock it around. Hey, look at that. There it is, and I got it pretty much centered. Five millimeter hex. And let's get up in here. And get my arm. Now I should mention I've warmed this up. So the car is up to operating temperature and the transmission should be warm. So if there's any debris or anything in there, it should be all mixed up nice. And there we have it. Well, that's pretty well got the converter drained. Put our drain plug back in here. Oops. Snug that down. And here we go. Drain our pan. We'll put our drain plug back in. Okay. Now we're going to switch to our 13 millimeter. And hopefully you can see on the GoPro, there's three 13 millimeter bolts on this side and three mirroring on the other side. So let's start taking these bolts loose. Back to the back here. The other side. It's this one in the front. Crack that one loose. Our 
last bolt out. Try and get that. Take our pan. Dump this out. And set the pan off and out of the way. Now we're going to let our filter drain here a little bit. And then we'll remove our filter and refill everything. Start taking some of these screws out to hold our filter in place. Move this one right here. all three out. Snug them up. Pan gasket. Just more or less pops off. It's got a couple little tabs here that go over. That looks like it's been on there for a while, so it's probably good that we're doing that. Okay, that's nice and cleaned up. Let's get our gasket, and you can see how it goes based on the shape of it. Pop that down over there, that pushed on there, pop that on over there. That's pretty much our new gasket ready to go on. I've got a few of these little tiny rare earth magnets I'm just going to set in. Those four spots. So they're pretty small, but if there's any metal in there, it'll get it. So now with this gasket where we need it to be, let's go and put this back on. It doesn't quite want to stay in there, so we'll have to watch and make sure that that sits right where we want it when we're putting our bolts back in. But we're ready. Let's put this back on. So our transmission dipstick back here has a little locking tab and then we can pull that up out and we're empty. That funnel fits in. Okay, now this lube guard stuff, one of the only ATF uh, additives that I have any faith in. This stuff does seem to work. You do have to watch there's three different versions, and in this transmission, the red is what you would want, um, not the silver or the black or whatever they are. So, I'm going to put in a gallon of this, then start the car so it fills the converter, and uh, go from there. With a gallon in there, I'm going to look underneath and make sure it's not leaking and really hope that it isn't so that I don't have to go buy another gallon. That's all there is to it.
Now we've got fresh fluid, fresh filter, and a fresh pan gasket on this W123. So hopefully with that being done and all the other little maintenance things that I've shown you in previous videos, this car will keep us going for years and years to come, and I'm sure it will. Um, that's all there is for today though. Hopefully this helps you out and uh, make sure to stay tuned. We've got lots more content coming on this as well as loads of other projects that I've got going on. So stick around for all of that. Thanks for watching.